Good morning, class. Today we are working on Unit 4, Lesson 9, Remembering. We are reviewing um, adding and subtracting fractions, mixed numbers, and fractions and whole numbers. We are also adding and subtracting decimals, multiplying decimals. You can go ahead now and put an X through stretch your thinking. Today's lesson is short. There are only 12 problems for you to complete. We'll go ahead and complete one from each section just so you have a little extra support with your review questions here. Number one, we have 10. And from 10, we are subtracting 3 and 3 fourths. Remember, when we have just a whole number here, like we have 10, okay, we're going to have to borrow from that 10 so that we can have a fraction, okay? And we can see down here that this fraction is in fourths, so we need to borrow one whole. And one whole in terms of fourths is going to be 4 fourths. 4 over 4 is equal to 1. So we're borrowing 1 from this, it's going to become a 9. So we borrowed one whole from that 10, and it became a 9 and 4 fourths. Now we can subtract our 3 and 3 fourths straight from that. 4, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Your denominator of 4 remains the same. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6, and your answer is 6 and 1 fourth. Down to this next section, it says copy each exercise, then add or subtract. And the reason they want you to copy them is because they want them written vertically. Remember, when you're adding and subtracting decimals or decimals and whole numbers, you have to line up your decimal point. Okay, number seven, we have 0 0.67, and to that we are adding 0 0.42. Those decimals need to be lined up. The first thing I do is bring that decimal on down. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Put down your 0, carry your 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. Your answer is 1 in 9 hundredths, 1.09. Let's go ahead and do one from the next section, and this is multiplying decimals. You have number 10, you have 4 and 3 tenths times 6 and 7 tenths. Remember when you're multiplying decimals, you ignore the decimal in the beginning. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. Put down your 1 and carry your 2. 7 times 4 is equal to 28 plus 2 is equal to 30. Okay, now I need to move to the 6. Bring down and put down your placeholder. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Put down your 8, carry your 1. 6 times 4 is equal to 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. And now you can add. 1 plus nothing is 1. 0 plus 8 is 0. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 2 plus nothing is 2. Now I need to go up to my original problem. Identify how many numbers come to the right of the decimal. 1 and 2. So I'm going to shift. Start your decimal at the end of your number and shift left two times. 1 and 2. So 28 and 81 hundredths. You can go ahead and complete the six problems on your own. When you're finished, take a picture of your work, attach it to your assignment, upload, and turn it in on Teams. Thank you.